Hello students, welcome to tutoringcluster.com. In this video, we are going to talk about working of four stroke assigned. So in the previous video, we have seen the different terminologies of engine, that is IC engine. Now this IC engine based on the fuel use, it can be a petrol or a diesel engine. So petrol engine, these are also called as SI engines. So basically in this video, we are going to talk about how the petrol engine works or how the spark ignition engine works. So if you are new to my YouTube channel, please do like and subscribe. You can also join us on our Telegram channel. So let us start with the video. Now, The working of four stroke spark ignition engine basically it is based on auto cycle so there is a german engineer auto so he has discovered this concept right the cycle on which si engine works you have to remember it is what auto cycle okay now four stroke what do you mean by a four stroke engine so basically in case of in case of four stroke engine the complete cycle this auto cycle it is completed in four strokes of piston four strokes of piston or or you can say two revolution two revolution of crankshaft is it clear okay so you have to remember four strokes of piston and or two revolution of crankshaft so that's why these are called as four stroke engine this complete cycle that means from intake of fuel see concept remains same. there will be intake of fuel there will be power generation and there will be exhaust right okay now the complete cycle this auto cycle basically it can be divided into four phases we can say one is suction stroke so it is going to start from suction stroke next is compression stroke third one is uh, expansion stroke and fourth one is exhaust stroke okay right now let us what is happening during each stroke right now i think now you are familiar with this picture so this is what basically a cylinder then this is the piston there are intake wall and exhaust wall so these are the this is the intake wall this is the intake wall this is the exhaust wall there is a spark plug we will see the function of spark plug then this is the piston which is going to reciprocate inside the cylinder this piston is connected to the crank using what connecting rod so these are the parts so you are having a top dead center here and this is going to be a bottom dead center right okay now what is happen what is happening during suction stroke so during suction stroke the inlet wall is open is it clear inlet wall is open okay and the exhaust wall is closed okay देखो आपको कैसे समझना है ड्यूरिंग इच स्ट्रोक यू टू रिमेम्बर द पोजिशन ऑफ इनलेट एंड एक्सॉस्ट फॉल वेदर दो ओपन और क्लोज फर्स्ट पॉइंट यू टू रिमेम्बर सेकंड यू टू रिमेम्बर हाउ पिस्टन इज मूविंग वेदर द पिस्टन इज मूविंग फ्रॉम टॉप डेट सेंटर टू बॉटम डेट सेंटर और बॉटम डेट सेंटर टू टॉप डेट सेंटर राइट एंड थर्ड वॉट इज हैपनिंग इन साइड दिस इवेंट सो इच स्ट्रोक इफ यू रिमेम्बर और इफ यू कैन एक्सप्लेन दिस थ्री पॉइंट दैट इज गोइंग टू कम्प्लीट यूर टॉपिक It is very easy. Again, I am repeating. आपको तीन points याद में रखने हैं, ध्यान में रखने हैं। देखिए, वो भी easy है। कैसे ध्यान में रखना है? आपको concept समझ में आना चाहिए, right? So concept समझने के लिए आपको हर एक stroke में ये तीन चीजें पता होनी चाहिए। कौन सी चीजें? First आपको रखना है ध्यान में inlet wall और exhaust wall इसकी position क्या है? वो open है कि close है? Second आपको ध्यान में रखना है कि piston कहाँ से काम हो रहा है? Top dead center से top से bottom में move हो रहा है कि bottom sorry कि बॉटम से टॉप में मूव हो रहा है वो आपको ध्यान में रखना है एंड थर्ड पॉइंट यू टू रिमेम्बर व्हाट इज हैपनिंग इनसाइड द सिलेंडर 
Okay, the rest is very easy. So let us start and try to find the answer of this question in this four stroke. So that is going to complete our auto cycle. So again, I'm saying auto cycle, these are for petrol engine. Petrol engines, these are also called as spark ignition engine because you are igniting the fuel using the spark. That's why this spark plug is there. Is it clear? Okay, right. Now, it is a four stroke engine. So they are going to be four strokes of this gun or they are going, there, will, there are going to be two revolutions of crankshaft. Okay, now what is happening during a suction stroke? So in case of suction stroke, inlet wall is open, exhaust wall is closed. Okay, now through this inlet wall, the mixture of air and petrol, it comes inside the cylinder. Now how it comes inside the cylinder? See, the during the suction stroke, piston moves from top dead center to bottom dead center, therefore, it creates a low pressure inside the cylinder. How we are close from higher pressure to lower pressure. So pressure inside the cylinder, it falls below the atmospheric pressure. That's why the air along with the fuel, it gets entered inside the cylinder. Okay, so what is the motion or movement of the piston? It is from top dead center to bottom dead center. And through this inlet wall, the mixture of air and a fuel, of course, fuel is what? Petrol here, it comes inside the cylinder. Is it clear? Okay. So basically, this is a first zero to one. It is the representation. So basically, this is uh, on Y axis, you are having a pressure. On X axis, you are having a volume. Not required, but you should remember the name. It is the auto cycle. So this is zero to one. It is showing the suction stroke. Okay. Now, come to next compression stroke. Now, check the valve's position, the inlet valve and the exhaust valve, these are closed. Okay. Now, the piston, suction stroke pe ka, the piston ka pe a gaya, bottom dead center. That means in case in the next stroke, in compression stroke, the piston is going to move from bottom dead center to top dead center, thereby compressing the air fuel mixture, which is inside the cylinder. Okay, now at the end of compression stroke, the mixture is ignited with the help of spark plug. Okay, they go process care, compression process. So during compression process, the pressure and temperature is going to increase. One to two, they can pressure kya hai? increase hai. pressure kya hai? increase or volume kya hai? decrease. Okay, yeah, other piston. Is compressed kar rahe. obviously is volume come over like pressure kya hoga? Badi ga. so one to two process it is one to two this process it is compression here zero to one it is suction is it clear okay so kya kya point bata diye mene compression stroke mein aapko kya dhyan mein rakhna hai wall position inlet wall exhaust wall are closed piston is going to move from bottom dead center to top dead center thereby it is going to compress the air fuel mixture Okay, that means temperature and pressure of the air fuel mixture it is going to increase at the end of compression stroke. The fuel, air fuel mixture, it is going to get ignited with the help of spark plug. Okay, abhi fuel, air fuel mixture agar ignite karte, to kya hoga? There is going to be instantaneous release of chemical energy of the fuel. Okay and the pressure and the temperature of mixture it further increases so this two to three process it is nothing but your heat addition process you are adding the heat you are adding the it means you are igniting the air fuel mixture so this is the heat addition so heat addition it is taking place at constant volume it is taking place at constant volume is it clear okay at the end of compression stroke, what is the position of piston? It is bottom dead center. And the next stroke is piston, it is going to move from bottom dead center, top dead center to bottom dead center. Okay, at the end of compression stroke, piston? Piston is at TDC, top dead center. Okay, right. Now let us talk about expansion stroke. 
so during the expansion stroke again check the wall position inlet wall and exhaust wall these are closed okay now the piston is going to move from top dead center to bottom dead center okay so agar ye move hoga so the process is 3 to 4 process is 3 to 4 so basically high pressure and temperature gases high pressure and temperature gases it pushes the piston downwards thereby it creating a motive power so expansion stroke it is also called as power stroke and this is important this produces a power to run your vehicle okay yahan pe combustion jab hoga so that mixture of gases which is having a very high pressure and temperature it pushes this piston very fastly thereby it produces the power so power is produced during expansion stroke so this is the expansion jab bhi expansion hota hai pressure and temperature kya hota hai reduce hota hai now the last one is exhaust stroke so what is happen during the exhaust stroke so exhaust that means exhaust to the atmosphere so exhaust wall kya hona chahiye open hona chahiye inlet wall to close hi rahega right and how the piston is going to move dekhiye expansion stroke mein piston kya ho raha tha top dead center to bottom dead center aa gaya abhi kya hoga this piston is going to move from bottom dead center to top dead center thereby it is going to push the gases into the atmosphere okay that means there is a heat rejection there is a heat rejection so 2 to 3 it is a heat addition heat addition okay it takes place at the end of compression stroke after that there is a expansion stroke which is what 3 to 4 is your expansion and 4 to 1 is your exhaust that means heat rejection heat rejection so both heat addition and heat rejection it takes place at constant volume okay now is it clear now iske baad kya hoga what will happen after the exhaust stroke abhi piston kahan pe aa gaya piston yahan pe aa gaya top dead center pe abhi wapis ye piston it will move downwards thereby reducing the pressure inside the cylinder below the atmosphere so again inlet wall is going to get open again air fuel mixture is going to come and this process is going to continue so this is how basically the power is getting produced in petrol engine so how the chemical energy of fuel it is used to first convert into heat and then that heat energy is further used to convert into what mechanical energy so this is how energy conversion takes place so we will going to quickly summarize this so si engine it works on auto cycle so four stroke that means four strokes of piston or two revolutions of crankshaft so there are four stroke suction compression expansion exhaust three points you have to remember what is the position of wall how the piston is moving what is happening inside the cylinder in case of suction stroke inlet wall is open exhaust wall is closed piston is moving from top dead center to bottom dead center thereby air fuel mixture comes inside the cylinder compression stroke during compression stroke inlet wall and exhaust wall are closed piston is moving from bottom dead center to top dead center thereby compressing the air fuel mixture at the end of compression stroke that fuel or you can say air fuel mixture it is getting ignited with the help of spark plug that's why these are called as spark ignition now during the expansion stroke the high pressure and temperature gases it pushes the piston downwards with a very good force that's why it is going to create a power this power will be used to run your vehicle okay so during expansion stroke both the valves are closed piston is moving from top dead center to bottom dead center 
then last one is exhaust in case of exhaust exhaust valve is open inlet valve is closed piston is moving from bottom dead center to top dead center thereby pushing this exhaust gases residual gases into the atmosphere and again the process is going to continue so this is all about working of four stroke si engine so hope you have understood how the four stroke si engine or petrol engine works so please hit the like button you can also write us in the comment box if you are liking this videos and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel please do it you can also join us on telegram channel where i have uploaded even the notes of third and the fourth unit which are going to be very useful for you and i have also uploaded the mcq part as well as the numerical part based on unit number one and two you can find the link of those videos in the description box thank you everyone